Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome back to Overwatch. Today it is time to play a couple of games with the one and only Roadhog. Besides a hook and obviously a massive amount of health and a self-heal, the most important factor about this dude is the piggy on his tummy. Let's play some games. And we find ourselves on the attacking team on King's Row. Now, as you may have already noticed at the bottom side of the hero selection right there, you can see that Roadhog is regarded as a tank. So while a lot of people play this dude relatively aggressively, it is going to be a tank after all. So my main goal for this game is to push the objective and to make sure that my teammates stay alive. So a hero like Tracer right there has 150 life and I actually have 600 which is a ton. On top of that, I have my E ability, which is basically a self-heal that I believe heals for 450 hit points in total. So, you know, every 8 seconds I can heal for like the, the life of 3 traces, right? Obviously, I'm a much bigger hitbox as well, because look at this dude, he's absolutely massive. But all in all, this guy can actually be extremely sustainable, and it's my goal to take as much damage as possible. Now, besides that though, I obviously also have the signature spell of this dude, which is the shift. The shift is this hook that I throw forward, and obviously I can then finish off someone if I manage to hook them, because I pull them back uh, towards me. Um, now, as far as the abilities go, I got my left mouse button click here as well, that is basically a shotgun, and the right mouse button click, which basically is sort of like a long range shotgun, because I throw the shell forward and then it explodes. Something like that. So, my goal is gonna be to try and, you know, tank as much damage as possible, and then also to make sure that I, you know, hook as many nerds as possible, so I can actually kill him. Just like this. For example. Wow, he actually does braid form, just barely out of there. Gotcha. <laughs> Sweet. So that is basically the idea of this of this dude. Now, it's pretty scary to run into a, uh, into a Reaper like that, because he does have a lot of life, but... There is a Reinhardt on the enemy team, it looks like. Reinhardt is a great choice against this hero. Because he basically has this shield, and the hook that I got actually does bounce off of shields. So it's pretty annoying here. He's a great counter pick, but the goal of this series is to obviously show you, you know, what the heroes are and whatnot. Got you, though. Pretty good here. I do have the Orb of Discord on me right now, which you can see by the purpley stuff, which makes me take a lot more uh, additional damage. So I gotta be a little careful. Looks like there's a Bastion, but sadly he also manages to turn around just barely in time. Do I have my ultimate going right now, and I can use this to push forward aggressively, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do here. See if I can break the shield. There's not that many H points, actually, on, on a Bastion shield, but... I guess it's uh, pretty rough to hit him at long range. Oh, almost had him right there. Still having that Orc of Discord on me, though. He's not switching targets, which is very annoying. And I do get taken out right there by the pin of Reinhardt. Do get revived as well by Mercy's ultimate, so that's very nice. And that means that the Orb of Discord is gone, which means I can push a little more aggressively. Okay, do have to go. Do have to go, guys. My people need me. Alright. He is actually being super aggressive with that. It basically means that I am disabled for a big chunk of this game. Because I just take so much additional damage right there. Uh, there's Senyata play being extremely annoying. I do get the... Uh, the elimination right there, not the final blow on him though, but I do get the elimination and um, it looks like we have to move back. But you can see though, um, there's a very powerful set of skills right here that allow you to be both very sustainable and to also deal a lot of damage as long as you're hooking aggressively. Now by the way, for this map, I haven't actually discussed the, the objective for this map yet. I need to simply go ahead and capture objective A, at which point the payload becomes available, at which point we need to push that towards B. Now, once again, I'm waiting for, uh, alright, yeah, there we go. Do get, uh, the Senyata Orb of Discord disappearing. He basically, like, the Orb of Discord goes away as soon as Senyata dies, or as soon as he uses it on someone else. It can only go on one target, or if the target dies, obviously. Uh, but it's, it's a very powerful ability, and it's one of those things that is, uh, easily underestimated. But here we go, the payload is gonna be available, and now we need to escort this towards B. Very good. Looks like there is a, I think it was a Hanzo or a Widowmaker right there. No, it's a Widowmaker. You can hear the sounds. Gotta be watching out for the, for the move forward right here. Okay, activating my ultimate. Gotta make sure that I try and kill as many nerds here as possible. I keep calling them nerds. In a lot, one of the last videos, I actually uh, had someone comment down below. It's like, Loco, why do you keep calling people nerds? That's offensive. It's like, no, man. Being a nerd is something to be proud of, right? I mean, that's that's a guy that loves to play video games, right? I prefer spending my... Oh, oh gotcha. I prefer spending my Friday nights playing video games rather than going out and drinking. Please let me be, right? All right, let's push the payload. Don't get too far forward without the payload, obviously. Um, so, right now, there is a checkpoint underway as well. We have 4 minutes and 30 seconds, so that means we do get some extra time in a little bit. 
which helps out a lot. Um, but so far, so good. Wow, Reinhardt, that's so aggressive, sir. You may end up falling there. <laughs> Just a little too far. The range on the um, the range on the um, on the ability on the hook is actually easy to overestimate. It's not that great. Got you though. There we go. It does a little bit of damage on impact as well. So. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down, nerds. Okay, maybe that's a little too often, calling them nerds. Let's see if I can hook someone from behind. Heroes never die. Gotcha. And there we go, five player kill streak right now. Very nice. Bastion once again being an annoying little ass, but we'll just move around right now. Did escort it towards the um, objective right now, or towards the... Um, towards the... Uh, Checkpoint, which means that we are pushing it forward. As long as I hide behind here, Bastion won't be able to do very much. But it looks like he's already gone. Wow. Genji, actually. Genji, obviously, able to deflect damage quite aggressively. And he's very good in close quarter combat. Although, that is also where this hero shines. Gotcha! Wasn't ready for that justice now, was I? Sweet. So, very good game so far. And we are pushing it towards the objective, which is right in this circle. Genji, come here! Wasn't having any of that. And it looks like he falls down. We're gonna activate the ultimate once again. But we have already escorted it to victory. So very nice game number one right here. Um, I wonder if you got to play the game. I didn't make any like crazy combinations at all. Yeah, no, it looks like Tracer is gonna get to play of the game right here. Uh, but all in all, very, very solid game number one right here. I will be playing another one, obviously. Um, just because, you know, we want to see if I can actually do it again. <laughs> now, you know, every now and then I have great games with Roadhog, and the other times I don't have such great games. I want to see if he... Now, we actually didn't manage to, uh, you know, show up right here with how much damage we tanked. But either way, let's jump into game number two. This time around, we find ourselves on the defending team on Foskaya Industries. And as you can see, we have a very well-rounded team in Roadhog Zenyatta. Uh, we obviously have Torbjorn, Junkrat, Genji, and the last but not least, we also have a Widowmaker. So a nice uh, set of defensive heroes uh, that should allow us to actually defend Objective A just fine. And that's what we're going to try and do. Um, on this particular map, uh, the attacking team will simply have to go towards E and then go towards B. Uh, and B is all the way over here. So we'll see how well we can do. We have um, a Torbjorn, obviously. A Torbjorn can actually easily dominate this map if you uh, if you know where to put down the turrets. There are some crazy, crazy locations where you can make, um, you know, this hero extremely or uh, Torbjorn extremely vulnerable or very, very valuable, rather. I think he's gonna put it down somewhere over here. It would make sense. There we go. All right. So we're just gonna stand right here. I'm just gonna stand right here. Gotta keep in mind my hook doesn't go super far, so I need for them, or I need to wait for them to get around the corner. There's already a junk rat trap right there as well, the steel trap. So I can actually stand right here as well, and maybe be a little more useful. But I want to play it a little defensively as well because, honestly, even though I have a ton of life, it is not like I'm you know Rambo and I can actually stay alive, uh, absolutely like super easily. Someone did end up falling there. There is a Reaper player. Reaper, you're coming around the corner? Wow. That's a lot of damage right there from that Junkrat. And there's also a Widowmaker. Not really allowed to do very much right here. Like, the shotgun doesn't allow me to do anything in this, in this range, I suppose. Oh, almost at the hook, but not quite. It's fine, though. Like, uh, if they're playing this many defensive characters, obviously, you know, they will they will be able to kill us right here. But they will not be able to, you know, capture the objective. Which is really what it's all about. Do get a final hit right there on the uh, Reaper player. Alright, Harmony Orb on me. Oh, what? <laughs> I didn't want to activate my ultimate, but he activated his ultimate. I just wanted to melee him down. Uh, you also obviously have a melee ability on every single hero. But this is fine so far. It's just that um, walking back on this particular map is taking forever. Like, you have to walk a very, very long amount of distance. And since we don't have a Lucio or anything, 
um, to uh, to cover the distance a little faster. They do have a very good moment right now to start objecting or capturing A, uh, which is exactly what they're trying to do. There's obviously three stages. If you look at um, at A at the top side of the map right now, or at the top side of the screen, you can see there's like these little ticks. Well, it's gone right now, but there's basically three stages where they can um, be annoying in. Okay, I do have my ultimate up. Don't exactly know where Roadhog went. But either way, I'm gonna go towards the objective here. Torbjorn has moved his turret over, no, so that's good. I, and, well... We have to be... We have to watch out here, knowing that he has his ultimate up, and also they know exactly where we are located at this current moment. Do get the kill right there. There's actually a, um... There's actually a, um... What's it called? Rip tire coming in. Looks like, um... Widowmaker ends up blowing out of proportion there. Not a big deal, though. Two minutes and 42 Sniper. seconds remaining. Sniper! We don't want to get snipered. Okay. So they're all moving in from the right. Gotcha. Gotcha. Still have my ultimate up. Uh, haven't really found much use for it. Oh, gotta be careful. That is his deflectability. Very nice. Wow. Wow! Wow! That was actually extremely well played by that Genji player. I couldn't catch him at all, that ass. Um, I, <laughs> I couldn't catch him at all because uh, he, he actually was so fast. I tried getting him behind the car, but since uh, when you activate your ultimate on Roadhog, uh, since you're firing very rapidly and you're very annoying to do so, or you're very powerful when you're doing so, um, you can't actually move very quickly at all, so I couldn't, couldn't quite catch him. Um, and then obviously Junkrat coming in as well wasn't that helpful. They are capturing A right now, but it looks like so far we are managing to deal with it, so, you know, just fine. Genji, come here. Gotcha. Got the revenge. Wow. Alright, cool. Let me heal myself up a little more. Alright. Start your engines! Let me grab this little bit of healing right here. Just to make sure that we stay up in life. Wow, the counter hook. The counter hook right here. Okay, I do have my ultimate up once more. 60 seconds remaining, so all we need to just do is just stand in this circle and make sure that they do not capture it. Just don't play too aggressive, I suppose. I'm waiting for my ultimate to... Uh, you know, to make sure that we get maximum potential out of it. Soldier 76 on the high ground. If you show yourself once again, I'm gonna hook you down immediately, sir. Oh, gotcha! <laughs> sweet. Mr. Chester, I warned you. Obviously, you couldn't hear me. Cool. 23 seconds. Activating my ultimate. If you manage to kill some, that would be huge. Five killing streak once more. There is a rip tire coming in. I don't know if this, this is the allied rip tire. No, it's not, but it's fine. I can take the damage. 10 seconds. This is great. Obviously, you know, there is still overtime if they jump the circle right now and manage to take us out. They do still have a chance of doing so. Oh! And they're actually doing it. They're actually doing it. They're actually doing it super aggressively. Activating my ultimate once more. And they actually, I don't get it. I do not get it. Seven player kill streak. And I think they're actually pushing the pain or pushing the objective right now. Great synchronization right there of all of the abilities right there, and I think they may very well be able to capture it. They're capturing it right now with two people. Overtime is activated. If they manage to capture it right now, um, they will be able to um, actually, you know, get some extra time to go towards B. Now, overtime basically goes away if you manage to kill all of the heroes that are in the objective, but it looks like they're standing in there right now with two of them. One or two of them. They're still fighting going on. There's three right now, so yeah, they're actually capturing it. Wow. They are taking the point, Junkrat. Wow, very well done by them, and they actually will be able to capture it. Well, I, I cannot I cannot jump it. Well, actually, no. Wow. That is insane. That is insane. I come in, but at the last second, right? Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> I cannot quite kill a Reaper in a one-on-one -on -one engagement, but they have four minutes and 50 seconds right now. To go towards B, so very good effort by us in general, but not quite enough.
not quite enough. So B is going to be all the way over here. We have 4 minutes and 30 seconds right now to actually defend that. It's not going to be as much time as they normally would get on this map. It's basically the bare minimum. Uh, but they have to go towards this objective. Now, the nice thing about this thing is that we spawn much closer to it. Um, so, you know, that gives us, um, you know, a much easier time defending this one. Don't want to get hooked here. With that many heroes around. Diva going in. Oh, no. Don't want to get ultied. Gotcha. Once again, the raid form. Not quite enough for me to uh, to kill him. Activating the E once again to get that a little bit of extra self-sustain going. 3 minutes 40 seconds. If we don't allow him to go through this gate, obviously that's great for us. Wow. And I do end up killing both of them, or at least getting most of the damage done on both of them, but uh, not quite getting the finishing blow right there, and I do end up falling uh, to their Roadhog player. But once again, you know, like I spawn right here, and the objective is literally around the corner right here, so ultimate is up. Wow. That's unfortunate, actually. Activating the ultimate right as he activates his, um, his other ability. Wow, where is he? <laughs> Messy fights. But this is fine. Gotcha. And he's got me, because that's a Widowmaker up to the high ground right there. Getting in that head shield, I think. There we go. Boom. I got a pretty big head, so... That does help. Okay. Two and a half minutes. I really don't want to lose this one after getting so far ahead during the first one, right? Genji, be gone. Gotcha. This is good, though. We're switching heroes right now. Alright, we are not switching heroes, but the team has been switching heroes for a little while. Gotcha! Widowmaker, be gone! Yeah, if you manage to hook someone, generally speaking, they end up falling. Vara is not a great pick against this hero. Because I can actually hook her from uh, from the skies if I see her use her ultimate. But they're uh, moving from the left right now, which is actually surprisingly annoying. Uh, they can't quite go that way. But this, uh, this alleyway right here is pretty difficult to defend. There's actually Genji up on the high ground with the double jump, managing to jump across here, so he will be up here somewhere. He may have already fallen, though. Alright. Wow. He actually deflected my, uh, my hook. He would have guaranteed... Guaranteed gone down there. Don't know if this is our Roadhog or the enemy Roadhog. One minute remaining. We were so close last time around. Come on. We're doing well here, but they are progressing on us. You can notice. Okay. Getting a lot of healing here. Got the ultimate up and ready to go once again. Junkrat's still up on the high ground right there, being extremely annoying. I can't quite see him, though. I can't get a visual on him, so I can't kill him. Where's Widowmaker? Widowmaker's right here somewhere. Genji once again to the right right now. They're moving in from different angles, but I'm just staying close to the payload. Or to the uh, to the objective, rather. 30 seconds at this point, which is very good. Trying to see where exactly where they're going, but most of them are getting taken out. 24 seconds. Obviously, there's also overtime on this payload, or on this objective. Gotcha. And activating the ultimate right there is definitely worth it, because it means that he has to walk back for a very long amount of time. And it looks like we have successfully pushed them back. Four seconds remaining. And eventually... <gasps> they're in there right now? Are you for real? Overtime? No way. No, 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 no. Not this time. Not this time. Great. It's a very nice game, all in all. Definitely got a lot of kills. Uh, 21 eliminations, 10 final blows, and 6 deaths. Uh, which is definitely a very solid amount. Looks like X or SXLA 
is going to get the play of the game as the Reaper. Probably getting one of the sickest Death Blossoms in the game. Was this? Was this it? Is this it? Really? I got more than two kills. <laughs> that wasn't that exciting after all. But very nice, well-rounded game. Uh, Roadhog, very powerful hero to play. He's a ton of fun. I want to thank you all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. And I'll see you in the next one.